Hey everybody, to help celebrate July 4th, here's some good old-fashioned American muscle in the form of a 68 Mustang hardtop funny car. In the back you can see I've got the drag chute pack and the old school big wheel wheelie bars. The front features a chin spoiler and there you can see the scoop on that 427 camera engine. The body flips up to reveal the Logie Brothers chassis below and there is a little stand that I can fold away up under the fender so when I need to drop the body down for race time. We can lift it back up, drop the stand down for the times we need to tear down the engine in the pits. Underneath you can spot the U-joint and the oil pan. Here's the view from above. Here's a shot of the body off the car, and in a couple seconds here, we're going to take a look at how the body itself was put together. You can see where the stand is tucked away in that shot. Now we're going to take a look at the Logie Brothers style chassis. The loops on the back of the chassis is where the hinge point is for the body to lift up. You can see I've got a belt for the blower and coming up I'll show you how I put that belt together. There's a close-up of the chassis and you can see the gauges and the steering wheel and the seat plus the sheet metal tub that the driver sits in. Here's a close-up view of how I mounted the wheelie bars underneath the chassis. So here's the secret to the blower belt. It's ribbon. Ribbon uh, works really well because on the outside it's kind of smooth and on the inside there's a ribbing, much like real belts. So what I do is I wrap it around two or three times to give it the right thickness. And once I have it tight, I'll use a little bit of glue with a glue gun. And just press it into place. Ow, oh, hot, 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 hot. Kids, use parent supervision. And snip off the excess, and it's hidden underneath. The last thing to do is get rid of that excess little glue drip thingamabobby. For the fuel cell in between the front wheels, when I put the two halves together, I was left with a gap. So to cover that up, I used another trick. This time I used shiny silver ribbon. And this has the effect of looking like aluminum or stainless steel when you show it inside out. And there it is, back in place. One thing is missing, and that's how's the air going to get in? Well, here comes a Sharpie to the rescue. We'll just put that scoop back on and tweak it a little bit, and we should be good to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had a blast putting this together and making the video of the drag race at the beginning. If you're digging the drag cars and would like to see more, please leave a comment and be sure to like and subscribe. I will be featuring the Corvette in its own video coming up soon, so be sure to catch it by hitting that bell. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye.